Okay, I have finally solved my trigonometric function after trying to solve it uh, for a little while now. So, uh, what I just highlighted in yellow up here is what we are originally given. Uh, the function x equals secant x and we are to find the derivative of that and in the end we find that the derivative is tangent x times secant x. And for anyone who does not want to just witness my explanation, they can just pause the video and check out all my work. And here on the next slide, we have the same thing. What we're originally given is function x equals uh, cosecant x. And you can find the derivative. You could just pause the video now. And let's go step by step to solve function x equals secant x. All right. So go and do this like I have done the others. So function x, so f prime of x, let's remember our standard quotient here, which uh, involves a limit. So the limit as h approaches 0. Okay, so we have on the numerator function of x, function of x plus h minus f of x denominator h. Alright. This problem is actually a bit simpler than it appears. So let's go ahead and now plug it secant of x in. So we have to keep uh, the limit constant and now we can start our new fraction. I should, okay. So we have secant x plus h minus secant of x over h. So um, at first I was actually inclined uh, to turn this into 1 over cosine, which is actually the right way, and then my second try I tried multiplying this by the inverse of secant x plus h plus secant x, and that was incorrect. So let's go with the correct method. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace secant with 1 over cosine. So let's take that, stick in a fraction, and now we have 1 over cosine x plus h and we also have to do the same thing here so we have 1 over cosine of x alright and now uh, to get um, the h into the numerator you just have to multiply the top and bottom by 1 over h 1 over h h and now that cancels out with that and this now um, is distributed to both the denominators in this problem okay so let's go to our next line and delete that delete that all right excellent so We've taken the numerator and we've added h's into the denominator of the old numerator. Alright, so clear so far? Hope so. Now, uh, let's get a common denominator. Uh, this fraction here is missing cosine of x in the denominator, so let's multiply this uh, top and bottom by cosine of x. And on bottom cosine of x and this fraction over here it's missing cosine of x plus h so let's multiply that on the top and bottom cosine x plus h cosine x plus h all right and now what's next oh okay so we can combine um well we can sort of combine them. So let me just take this to our new line. So this is multiplied on the top and bottom. So let's add it. Cosine of x. Cosine of x. And I'm sorry to do all these uh, mini steps. But I like to break down um, each and every uh, possible uh, step. And it actually keeps me organized. Alright, so see that there? Now 
let's go to our next line because we just ran out of room so now we can take this uh, do all right have to keep our limit there and actually uh, I see earlier I did not keep uh, my limit constant sorry I just have to do it I feel like I'm getting points taken off if I don't do it even in my homework that my teachers not going to collect so now they have common denominators so we can get rid of uh, one of these fractions and just combine them cosine x plus h and now we can start our new expression so how can we separate um, co negative cosine x plus h well if you remember um, let's see what was the conversion uh, let's see it was cosine of alpha plus beta in this case so that would be um, cos cos uh, minus sine sine I remember that and now just have to distribute it doesn't really matter what order a b a B, or you might see BA but it doesn't matter since it's just multiplying there so we can apply the same thing here now so this fraction which uh, I should put in parentheses because this can get a bit complicated um, all right so this becomes cos cos and it's gonna be plus right no, it's minus negative and sine sine x h doesn't matter doesn't matter okay so uh, we can put this get rid of that uh, conversion we don't need it anymore and now um, let's distribute d negative on the outside so when we distribute the negative and this is where I kept running into trouble when I tried doing this problem by myself I wouldn't distribute a negative and not make that positive and I get an incorrect answer and I'd wonder why okay so from here let's uh, we can see there's a common factor here uh, like terms that we can factor so let's take the limit as h approaches zero take this fraction and now factor this um, a cosine out. Uh, let me actually just highlight this and use the special parentheses tool. Uh, that's the best I can do. All right, and that gets rid of the cosine in there. So I, I hope you saw what I did. Um, let me uh, show you real quick. I just went ahead and parentheses around here right took a cosine x out so that cancels out this cosine leaving a one behind that cancels out this cosine also all right so let's go to our next line so boom 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 okay so now we see a couple things we can uh, cancel out right let's check this out so we can cancel this cosine x in the numerator with this cosine x oh no we can't I'm sorry we have to separate this uh, th yeah this might be where some of you got confused at least where I got confused because uh, because we have this positive in the numerator you can only factor things out when everything's multiplying so you actually have to separate this fraction now so let's go ahead and separate it uh, it's going to be a positive in the middle so 